Dr. Y.K. Hamid is a non-executive chairman of CIPLA and represents the second generation of CIPLA's founding family. A world-renowned scientist, Dr. Hamid obtained his PhD in organic chemistry in 1960 from the University of Cambridge under the tutelage of the Nobel laureate, Lord Alexandra Todd. He joined CIPLA in the same year as an R&D officer and became managing director in 1976 and chairman in 1989. He retired as Managing Director on 31st March 2013 and has continued to be Chairman in a non-executive role since then. For nearly 60 years, Dr. Hamid has been an insightful R&D leader, a courageous industry captain and an outspoken statesman of global pharmacy. From affordable drugs in HIV to enabling one of the world's largest portfolio of drugs and devices in inhalation therapy, his work and contribution to healthcare have been celebrated around the world. Dr. Hamid was awarded the Padma Bhushan for his distinguished service to the pharmaceutical industry in 2005. Dr. Hamid was honored by NDTV as one of the India's 25 greatest global living legends in the year 2013 and was conferred with the DSC by the University of Cambridge in 2014. Dr. Hamid is an honorary fellow of the Royal Society of Chemistry. He has been the recipient of several Lifetime Achievement Awards and is a prominent panelist in international healthcare forums. Dr. Hamid was the recipient of the IMA Lifetime Outstanding Achievement Award 2019. Ladies and gentlemen, please welcome Dr. Y.K. Hamid to share his contributions and views with us. Over to Dr. Hamid, please. Ladies and gentlemen, friends, students, etc., I'm privileged to be here before you today, and I remember vividly what transpired last year when I was here, and at that time, uh, last year, 2019, was a record with the attendance at this function. I think we had over 6,000 people present last year at this function. But I'm here before you on behalf of the award jury committee, Dr. Himanshu, Mr. Rathi, and Mr. Mushal, and myself. And this year, we have given the award to an outstanding lady, uh, Mrs. Anu Arga. Uh, she's an old family friend and our association with her, her family and my family, goes back to 1957, when she was a young student at St. Xavier's College in Bombay. Okay. All right. Uh, Anu's career, that she joined Thermax in 1985 and has been associated with Thermax right up to, till today. And unfortunately, her husband, Rohinton, who was also a very close family friend, passed away in 1996. Thermax, her company, underwent a, a very difficult period at that time. And it was her personal effort that brought Thermax out of the woods. And today, a company like Thermax has a turnover in excess of rupees 5,000 crores. But that's not the whole story of Thermax. The story of Thermax is essentially the products that they produce. And I'll read out what they actually do. They have manufacture integrated products in the areas of heating, cooling, power, water, and waste management. Apart from that, air pollution control, and also chemicals control. Now this type of work that Thermax does has all in the last 20 or 30 years been essentially due to the efforts of 
our recipient today, Mrs. Anu Aga. The one thing that I'd like to tell you about her, that she is a perfect combination of an outstanding intellectual, visionary, and philanthropy. And in this current part of her life, she is dedicating herself to social responsibility towards society. Her philanthropy extends essentially to education. And this is something which is very dear uh, to me as well, and also will influence the students who are present here today. So this is as far as Anu goes. I also wanted to say that I won't get an opportunity to say very much today, but the vision and that you all have today is dollars, five trillion target as a vision. And uh, Dr. Himanshu mentioned some points towards that. And I'd like to add to what he just said, essentially because of students who are present here today. <clears throat> what you first require is imagination, which is one of the qualities that differentiates people. The second thing you require, which is vital, is enthusiasm. The feeling that what one is doing is in life is what matters. The errors of enthusiasm are always preferred to the indifference of wisdom. The third important point is vision. And vision to me means to anticipate, to attempt, and to predict what are the best options for progress. Finally, uh, is the term success. What do you mean by success? And to me, and I've said it on many occasions, success is not a destination. It is the quality of the journey. Success does not lead to greatness. What really matters is one's contribution towards the moral and social obligations to society and improving the lives of our fellow men. And on this note, I wish the conference and uh, our awardee today, Annu Aga, all the very best in, in today and in the coming years. Thank you. Thank you, Dr. Hamid.